Welcome back. Today I'm creating ground effect lighting for my scooter using a Bluetooth microcontroller and a dressable LED strip. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. For this project, I'm recycling two bits of pixel strip left over from my old POV bike project tutorial. These are APA 102s or dot stars, but you could totally use NeoPixels for this project. I just happen to have this set of two strips wired in parallel, which is perfect for sticking under my scooter. I double checked and touched up the solder connections, which I made on alternating sides of the strip. It's just cleaner that way. I'm actually using the waterproof alkaline battery holder from the bike project as a project enclosure here. It already has a waterproof switch and it's the right size for a blue fruit feather microcontroller and flat lithium battery. So I removed the metal bits and cut away small sections of the plastic to maximize the interior volume. I did something in this project I don't normally recommend folks do, which is to solder directly to the leads of a lithium battery. And that's because you could short it out and cause a fire. Anyway, I badly wanted to use the switch built into the waterproof battery pack, so I spliced it in. I also removed the original wires and hot glue using a bit of rubbing alcohol. Then I tinned the LED strip wires and fed them through the opening. I soldered up power, ground, and data and clock to two different microcontroller pins. And now I'll include a circuit diagram in the instructable for this project at the link in the description. Once I had the circuit assembled, I went to program it using my Arduino software. I modified a Bluetooth sketch I made for my 2017 LED sign, which used NeoPixels, but the same Bluetooth Arduino compatible feather board. The sketch includes configurable color and a few animation patterns. To prepare the pixel strip for the underside of my scooter, I taped neodymium magnets to each end and used hot glue and more tape to seal up the ends. I've used silicone adhesive to seal up the pixel strip before, but it takes 24 hours to dry and I just wasn't willing to wait this time. I wanted this to be a one day build so I could go ride. I tried the same treatment with rare earth magnets inside the enclosure, but it just didn't feel sticky enough for the bumpy road. So I found this old CB radio antenna magnet and bolted it to the lid. Now all my parts feel super secure stuck to the steel structure of my scooter. Maybe someday I'll wire these lights into the electrical system of my bike, but for now I'll just remove the circuit for charging. The Arduino sketch pairs with the Adafruit Blue Fruit LE Connect app to use the color picker and the control pad to change between animations. It looks just like my vehicles in GTA Online. much for watching. I'd love to hear how you'd make this project your own in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. 